What are you staring at? Me? I'm blue. Mr. Blue to you. And get this right, I'm a lesser white-fronted goose. And this elegant lady here is Mrs. Blue. In the wilderness of Fenoscandia, more than 10,000 of us used to roam at the beginning of the 20th century. And today, there are fewer than 100 of us. Those folk over there are the greater white-fronted geese. People keep mixing us up, but it's actually quite easy to tell us apart. Sporting a more dainty body, a shorter, thicker neck, and a smaller, darker head, along with a longer white blaze on our forehead, a beautiful yellow eye ring, we are really cute, just like many other birds. We have to migrate, flying each year from Greece to the north of Europe. And if it wasn't hard enough already, it's getting harder. The weather is less predictable these days. Too rainy, too snowy, too hot. But what about those cities we have to pass? Pollution, yeah. Oh yes, and we're on a tight schedule. Sometimes we fly a thousand kilometers in one go. We deserve a nice rest after such a mega flight. This flooded grassland would be perfect, but due to droughts, the grass is all dried out. Damn tractors zigzagging all over. Ugh, hunters again. Even the brown-tailed ones want to get us. Minding our own business and suddenly... <laughs> Mad panic as we scramble to save life and feather. Fortunately, not everyone is out to get us. Tere. Tere. Those ornithologists with binoculars and telescopes are always overjoyed to see us. We even become social media superstars. They're really into us. They even track me all the way to the north of Europe. It's often darn freezing when we get to the breeding grounds. The unpredictable springs can bring snow. With climate change, as everything gets drier and drier, raising the next generation of blues becomes even harder. Climate change, intensified agriculture, habitat destruction, hunting. Our species is at risk. Help us change that. <laughs> I, Mrs. Blue, and every lesser white-fronted goose out there will truly be thankful for your help.